In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a stencil so you can spray paint your own custom grip tape. Okay, before I jump into everything, I wanna say stay tuned to the end of the video where I'll be explaining how you can get a sheet of the custom spray painted stencil grip tape artwork that I'm creating in this video. That was a lot of <laughs> words. I'll explain everything at the end of the video. Hopefully some of you dudes can can get some of this artwork I'm creating. First things first, here's everything you're gonna need to create your stencil for the custom grip tape. You'll need a sheet of grip, pencil, sharpie or some other black pen, uh, an exacto knife, some regular tape, Whatever color spray paint you're using, I th I'm, I'm gonna be using cherry red and bright white for this design. And some Bristol board or any sort of thick paper. Okay, let's come over to the computer. You can see here, this is my sketch of the design I want to stencil. So it's October, it's Halloween time. The new season of Fortnite is out and there's a skin that I just love, the, the like dire wolf, werewolf skin. So I thought it would be really fun to do a whole design on a piece of grip tape, that character on it. This is just in Photoshop, it's my quick sketch to sort of plan out the pose and everything. And I just wanna say that this whole drawing step, I'm gonna be doing in Photoshop, but you can absolutely 100% do it just on the Bristol board or regular sheets of paper with a pencil and a Sharpie, nothing fancy. The only reason I'm doing it in Photoshop is just to be quick about it, but totally doable by using pencil and paper. Let's jump into Photoshop and I'll explain what you need to be thinking about as you're designing your stencil. All right, so the first thing you need to know about creating a stencil for a skateboard or a piece of grip tape is that the grip measures nine inches by 33 inches. So in this case, I wanted to do a whole giant design all the way across the entire sheet of grip tape. You know, I wanted a big, cool looking, skating, direwolf, Fortnite skin dude. And so my, my canvas in Photoshop, or if you're doing it all on a sheet of paper, um, you'll have to probably tape some pieces of paper together that equal nine by 33 inches. You can absolutely do smaller scale. Everything I've done up into up to this point has always been smaller on just a single sheet Bristol board, but in this case, I'm taping a few sheets together. The next thing you have to worry about is when creating a stencil, you can't have, well, you can have floating pieces, but it makes it a lot harder, and I wanna make multiple copies of this artwork. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm trying really hard not to have any floating pieces. So you'll see it, it took me a second to figure out the, the face of the dire wolf dude. You know, I didn't, I didn't want his tooth there to be separated. So you'll notice that all of the, the white pieces are completely, it's like one piece outlined in black and then same for the red pieces and that leads into the next thing you have to consider so for this design i wanted to do two colors so i have white spray paint and red spray paint on top of i guess what would be the third color is the black grip tape to make it a lot easier on myself i separated every color so the the white and the red never touch when you cut the pieces out of the stencil you don't want to have a, like a floating piece that you have to set down every time you want it all just attached on the sheet of paper so maybe i'll be able to explain that a little bit better once we start cutting things out all right we're gonna just speed through this drawing i'm not going to talk any more about the drawing only to say that we are going to print out each color so we're gonna have the white stencil and we're gonna have the red stencil Stencil. We're gonna print out each of those and we're actually gonna divide it into four sections so we can print them out on eight and a half by 11 sheets and then we're gonna tape them all together. It's gonna be good. All right, let's, let's get to printing. Right, Dire Wolf White Stencil. All right, so I have my two sets of printouts, one for the white color, one for the red color. Now I'm gonna take 
my Bristol board sheets and we're gonna tape everything together. All right, I'm gonna have to figure out a sort of camera setup to show all this. All right, I'm just gonna take these two sheets of, I think I'm using, what is it? 11 by 14 inch Bristol board. I'm not doing anything fancy here. Tape them together. Now, the cool thing about making stencils is you don't have to worry too much about taping stuff super perfectly or making sure everything lines up just right. The attention to detail is gonna come from the actual cutting part. So just getting these sheets of paper all laid out doesn't have to be perfect. So I have a lot of extra space on the top of the design for the white. So I'm actually gonna move this all the way up to the top. And we're gonna tape this sheet down onto the Bristol board and then we'll line up this sheet so you can see the printers the printer kind of cut off the edge here a little bit no big deal I'm actually gonna tape it all the way across again like I did the two sheets of Bristol board and we can just cut through it with the exacto knife All right, so I'm just gonna take my Sharpie here and just so I don't make any mistakes while I'm cutting, kind of fill these areas that got cut off by the margins of the printer. And so this is this is basically the same thing that if, if you're not using a computer, you know, if you do a drawing on a sheet of paper and you have everything planned out like I did on the computer, then you can use a light table or a window and trace trace over your drawings to make the stencil. So in this case, you know, I had the actual line art that was all around, you know, you can see like on the you can see like on the arm and stuff where this this white section here and the nose and mouth are black. So that's going to be the black grip tape. And we're going to cut out the black areas of this white stencil and so everywhere that's black on this sheet is actually going to be cut out and I'm gonna spray white spray paint okay here is our finished white stencil I'm gonna go ahead and put together the red stencil now Now we have our white and red printouts taped to the Bristol board to give the stencils uh, some extra weight. Okay, so the next step is to cut out all of the black spaces. Um, I shouldn't be waving this X-Acto knife around in front of my face. This reminds me, when you're using a sharp X-Acto knife, hopefully it goes without saying, but be careful. Take it from someone who has been through art school and has had to assemble a lot of projects with an X-Acto knife. You don't want to get cut with one, uh, especially a sharp one, because it hurts. I'm gonna set the camera back up and we're gonna go through and cut out all the black areas from these two stencils. Time lapse time, let's do this.
All right, we got both the white and the red stencils cut out, ready to go. The sun's going down, so I'm gonna run outside and try and spray paint a couple of these stencils on these, this grip tape real quick. So, let's go. Alright dudes, here's the deal. So I came in the next morning and I'm not 100% happy with how the grip tape turned out. There's a few things that I learned along the way. One is when doing a full sheet design like this, you have to figure out some sort of way of registration. So that's lining up the two colors. The second thing is the red is just really not bright enough. You know, there's the nice bright white, but the red just, just doesn't pop as much as I wanted it to. And then the last thing is I need to be a little more patient when making multiple copies. You know, I, I just need to let things dry a little bit so we don't get smudges and splatters and all that. So here's the thing. I wanted to give away a few of these pieces of grip tape and I, it just doesn't feel right uh, the way they are right now. I want to be totally happy with them, especially since I'm going to give some away. So what I did was went to the store and got some new red spray paint. This is professional spray paint, so hopefully it's really bright and uh, costs $2 more than the regular stuff. So I'm going to go back behind the warehouse again, make a few more copies, then we'll talk about how you can get one for yourself. So let's go do some spray painting. <laughs> Yes. 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 All right. Way, way happier with this version. The red is way brighter. The just the color is more even. I mean, there's still places where uh, the spray paint gets under the stencil. That's always going to happen based on the wind or what angle you're holding the the spray can, but. So much happier with this. I'm actually gonna say I just got this Liquitex professional spray paint at the art supply store. Spent two dollars more on this than than the ones that I was using before. This this stuff is way way better for doing spray painting on grip tape for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and recommend the Liquitex. So yeah, hopefully me showing that my first try was not successful, but you know, you learn from your mistakes, you can figure out registration, get better materials. It's all trial and error, so you gotta, you gotta go through the mistakes and things not working to get at something that you're happy with. So, all right, because I'm so happy with these, I want to give some of these away. And I talked with Andy and Brian, and what we're gonna do is there's a link down in the description to the shredquarters.com where you can buy all the revived gear that I design. But in particular, this Skate Royale board, the link down in the description. We're gonna do a thing that as soon as this video goes up, if you order this board from the shredquarters.com, we will include a sheet of this direwolf skin grip tape. So right now I've only made five sheets. I'm gonna do five more, so there's gonna be 10 total sheets that I'm giving away. So the, the quantities are super limited. I think these are gonna go pretty fast, so get them while you can. All right, dudes, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments, and let me know if you get a sheet of the grip tape. I would love to see it on a board uh, I'd love to see it skated. If you get one, tag me in social media or something. I'd, I'd love to see it. Right on, dudes. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Get out there and put some artwork on your skateboards.
Oh, hey, Sam. Hey.